No Bears football today as they get ready for another primetime affair tomorrow night with division rival Minnesota coming to Soldier Field. And all that talk, both teams are heading in opposite directions, so to speak. The Vikings coming off two straight wins while the Bears have dropped three straight. Bears looking for a win and some positive energy and health as they head into the bye week after Monday night. Throughout practice this week, the coaching staff did not shy away from the importance of tomorrow's game. We're at a point right now, five and four, you have a division game against a good football team in, in the division. And right now with, with the way things have gone, losing three games, you know, we're willing to do whatever we need to do collectively together uh, to get that win. And uh, so when you say right now, this game versus week one, yeah, there's, there's a sense of urgency to this. And the guys understand that. We've made it a big point this week that this is where we're at. This is what we're set up for. And uh, it, it's, 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 we control it, we really do. So what are we gonna do about it? And coming up at 10 on the Sports Zone, Lou Canellis and Anthony Heron preview Bears, Vikings, and Adam Amin, TV voice of the Bulls, joins us with the NBA Draft Wednesday. And is there any chance the Bulls swing a deal for Russell Westbrook? Getting back to the NFL, the undefeated Steelers hosting the Bengals and Ben Roethlisberger activated from the COVID-19 reserve list. Looking like vintage Big Ben completes the tight window touchdown pass to Chase Claypool. Ben with four touchdowns, Steelers win 36-10, remain perfect. Next game, Saints, Niners, New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees would take a big hit midway through the second quarter. He'd be replaced by Jameis Winston in the second half. Fourth quarter, Saints giving it to Alvin Kamara. He'll score his second rushing touchdown, third score of the game. Saints go on to win it 27-13. Weather delayed the start of kickoff between Houston and Cleveland. Browns getting Nick Chubb off injured reserve, and they use him a lot. Baker Mayfield hands it off to Chubb, and he'll score untouched. Browns win 10-7 and improved to 6-3. and three. Final round of the Masters, and everyone was chasing Dustin Johnson all weekend long. Johnson with a three-shot lead on 13. He'll extend it with this birdie putt. Very next hole, another birdie for Johnson. He'll take a five-shot lead here. And on the 15th, that's right, another birdie. Three straight Johnson wins by five shots. The largest win in Masters history. He wins his second major and becomes just the 12th player to win after never trailing at the end of any round. As a kid, you know, always dreamed about, you know, being a Masters champion. It's so okay. <laughs> Talk. You've earned this right. I've never had this much trouble gathering myself. <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> on the golf course, I'm pretty good at it. Out here, I'm not. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do. I put in a lot of hard work. I've got a great team. Who? <laughs> Jesus. Who <laughs> gives it? <laughs> Good reason for all that emotion. And in baseball news, former Los Angeles Dodgers manager Tommy Lasorda has been hospitalized. And the latest AP college football rankings remain unchanged. Alabama remains number one, followed by Notre Dame, Ohio State, and Clemson. Corey and Don, back to you. <laughs>